The Merlin Diamond Project was acquired by La Carpa Diamonds' wholly owned subsidiary, Australian Natural Diamonds, in late 2021. Located in the Northern Territory, the project is close to the MacArthur River Mine and the town of Buralula. There is an existing access road linking Merlin to the Carpentaria Highway. The current project consists of a 24 square kilometre mineral lease and a 283 square kilometre exploration licence. On the mineral lease, there are 11 known kimberlite pipes naturally occurring in three clusters for which a Jork compliant mineral resource containing 4.4 million carats has been declared. These kimberlite pipes are remnants of ancient volcanoes that erupted over 300 million years ago, bringing diamonds naturally formed over a billion years ago from great depths to the surface. The two kimberlite pipes with the highest diamond occurrence or grades are the Gawain and Yuwain pipes. All of the kimberlite pipes were previously drilled to understand their shape and size. Indicated and inferred resources have been declared on 10 kimberlite pipes based on the technical data derived from the drilling and from the recovery of 500,000 carats over four years of commercial mining by Rio Tinto and Ashton. La Carpa has scoped a mine development plan that will see kimberlite material or ore being extracted from the pipes using a hybrid mining methodology conventional open pit mining, followed by vertical pit mining. For vertical pit mining, a concrete working platform is laid, upon which a hoist is erected that will be used to bring the ore from the pit floor to the platform. There will also be a separate lift installed for personnel access. As mining progresses to deeper levels, various forms of lateral support, such as cable bolts, mesh and shotcrete, are used to secure the pit walls, aiding in the structural integrity and safety of personnel and equipment. Ore is planned to be mined using mechanical mining machines rather than conventional drilling and blasting, which La Carpa believes will improve safety and drive further efficiencies. The kimberlite material is loaded into the hoist bucket and will be winched to the platform of the vertical pit, where it will be hauled by ADT trucks to the processing plant. It is currently planned to use the vertical pit mining method to a depth of 125 metres from the bottom of the conventional open pit floor. This method hugely reduces the amount of waste rock that would otherwise be mined using standalone conventional open pit mining. There are also additional environmental and economic benefits. The remaining resources and potential extensions of the pipe below the current resource levels could be mined by underground mining methods or possibly deepening the vertical pit. La Carpa is currently conducting an underground scoping study. The innovative hybrid approach scoped by La Carpa to utilise vertical pit mining in combination with conventional open pit mining should bring many additional benefits to the scoped Merlin mine development. La Carpa looks forward to publishing the results of their Merlin feasibility study in the third quarter of 2022.